Hey girls, it's Gina. So I'm sorry. I said I was gonna film yesterday and I didn't. Every Friday I promise I will because yesterday I was really disappointed in myself. I wanted to film when I got home and I just didn't get around to it because I ended up coming home late and Alan was at home and I can't film with him in the house. I just kicked him out. <laughs> so he's out doing something. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's get started. Week one, I uh, my starting weight was 169. Week two, uh, it was 163. Week three, I weighed in at 160.5. And yesterday, I weighed in at 159, which makes it an official 10 pounds. Woohoo! <laughs> 10 pounds in three weeks on Take Shape for Life. So I am on the roll I feel good now some of you guys might think okay Gina but you only lost a pound and a half that one and a half pounds is such a big ap accomplishment for me as I was stuck at the 160 mark for six days not one not two six so today is Wednesday and I just woke up and I just stepped on the scale. And the scale is like stopped at the same stinking number it's been for the last like, I don't know, five days. I'm exactly at 160. Um, but I have a good feeling that, I have a really good feeling that it's because my period's coming. <laughs> so I'm guessing my body is holding some water and I feel really bloated, and I've been sticking to plan still, although I've been having some extreme cravings and some crazy mood swings. <laughs> but besides that, it's just really frustrating because I'm sick of the freaking 160. Um, but then again, I've heard a lot, and this is good for some of you girls that are doing this with me. Some people are calling the third week the third week syndrome. <laughs> Where you absolutely don't lose weight because supposedly your body's like re um, redoing its metabolism, and after the third week, though, there's another drop. So, <sighs> crossing my fingers, I hope that's the case. Yeah, midweek, I realize okay, I gotta re remake my goal. Same goes for you girls. If you guys are hitting a plateau, scrap. Scrap your goal that you made for the week. Try to make a new goal like I did. My goal, I redid it and I was like, okay, I just need to break the 160s. If I break the 160s, I will be happy. I just need to break the 160s. And I said it every day, 10 times a day. Just break the 160s and that is my victory. And sure enough, I broke the 160s. Yeah, so I just want to say, once you reach my point, three weeks in, um, if you guys aren't losing weight, don't. I am pushing through and I am determined. I am so determined to get to my, my goal weight. And this is not just for my wedding anymore. So I'll, I'll be honest with you girls. When I first started this, um, I was doing it really just to lose some weight to look good on my wedding. Right now, I am actually going on a real legitimate journey. I am realizing that I've struggled with this my entire life. And I am going to reach my goal. And my goal is to be in my 120s. I'll say it straight up. I know everyone's going to say, oh my gosh, Gina, that's really low for your height. I'm 5'5", five five, yes. But look at my, okay, if you look at my wrist, it's really small. I can wrap my fingers around my wrist and have this much room. Do you see my thumb? I have small bones. I'm not meant to be this big. I'm meant to be thin. My body has an excess amount of body fat, really high percentage. So I feel that even if I get in the 130s, I'll be really happy. Honestly, if it takes me a year, I'm gonna get there. I'm so comfortable with the weight loss program that I'm on. I have an immense amount of support and um, me supporting all these other girls that are on this journey with me, I feel more accountable and I feel really good and I'm just so blessed right now. Everything is going so well. So I am determined. I have a couple other people that have joined this week. I just want to give a high five to most of my girls because they have completed their first week and they are on a roll. You guys know how hard it was to get on your first week, but you guys are doing awesome. I am so proud of you. I'm seriously so proud of you. 
and I'm so happy that you guys are embarking on this journey with me. Um, I have a lot of really good funny clips in this video, so I'm going to uh, include them. <laughs> So we just got done working out and I asked Alan if he wanted to have Chipotle with me again. <laughs> and he said, no. no. <laughs> so what does he do? He goes to McDonald's. Mm -hmm. And what does he get? Number one. He gets a Big Mac combo with hot french fries and who's holding it? Me. <laughs> it smells so good. I would die for some french fries right now. You're, you're mean. That's not nice. I'm sorry. Oh. oh. If I could just have one. <laughs> couple of them is me cooking. Okay, you see that? Sausage, mushroom, tomato, onion, garlic, spinach. Alan is special. Some pecorino romano. <laughs> oh my God. Meanwhile, I can't have any of this. What the fudge? You feel loved? Yes. <laughs> Another thing is, I've also incorporated some exercise this week. Um, it is now my third week, and I started incorporating some exercise midweek. Um, I started going to the gym and doing some light cardio. Not light cardio, some moderate cardio. So I'm at the gym right now, and I'm stretching. <laughs> and it's jam-packed, but it's like President's Day, so everyone has off. And so there's like all these really like skinny fit people. I'm gonna be like them one of these days. <laughs> uh, but pretty much today, I'm just gonna do some, uh, a little bit of walking on the treadmill at an incline, nothing like too crazy, just to get started. And then just lift some um, light weights, just to get back in the groove. And yeah. That's it. There's Alan stretching. <laughs> Day two at the gym. I'm doing some ellipticals. Going strong. I've plateaued a bit, so I'm adding some exercise. Um, since it's almost my third week, it's not too intense. I've only done it for 20 minutes, and I only plan to do it for like 10 more minutes. So, still considering I haven't worked out in like a month, um, definitely a little bit more challenging but I still have a lot of energy right now since I didn't do much at home and yeah hopefully this will give me the results that I need all right talk to you guys later bye I worked out a month before uh, starting Metafast and Take Shape for Life and I'll tell you what I feel really good right now this is what's crazy okay in my in the past I've done uh, low calorie diets 1200 1300 calories I was working out twice a day for an hour at a time I did not have enough energy and you know what I was eating really healthy I was really eating pure protein really good vegetables and fruits I was eating even whole grain bread I was incorporating into my diet at that time but my main problem was I was exhausted, exhausted. I used to come home from the gym and I was tired. I would take a shower, I'd pass out. It was hard to keep up. On my program right now, it's amazing. I feel like I have too much energy. I'm on the roll, like I don't feel tired at all. I feel like after working out, I feel like I could work out for another three hours. And of course, if I were to do that, Shauna would kill me, like my health coach. <laughs> And I'm amazed. Honestly, my body doesn't feel like it's dieting right now. I'll tell you what, at this point, I feel like I'm overeating still. I still can't believe that this is only a thousand calories. Like, because I eat. I eat, you know? Ooh, so here's my breakfast. I'm already halfway done. <laughs> but it's mac and cheese with lots of Tabasco. And I gotta tell you, first time I ate this, I was like, Oh, it's so gross because it's so watery and bland. But after three weeks, it's so good. I can't complain. And who else gets to eat mac and cheese for breakfast, right? So I'm pretty happy. 
So here's half of a lean and green. And it's just chicken broth that I made um, with half an egg white, uh, four ounces of tofu, and one cup of raw spinach, which will turn into like a quarter cup soon. And then this is Alan's version. This one I added dumplings. Um, he has chicken in his uh, tofu, spinach, and then he has some noodles over there. So my version, his version. So here's my lean and green from Chipotle. It's just pretty much lettuce, chicken, the fajitas, and salsa fresca. But I'm probably going to take out some of the onions on the fajitas. And yeah, so excited still. There's Alan with his mmm. <laughs> yeah, with that said, I'm done for this video. Wait until my next weight loss video. Um, hi Ting! <laughs> For any of you girls that are doing this with me, if you want more info, contact me. I'm still enrolling some people under, um, and I'd love to coach you. It's just been an amazing journey for me. And um, I guess I'll talk to you girls later. Bye! Okay, so I have my salmon here. I'm just drying it off. Um, before you ever cook any type of protein, you want to make sure that you get any uh, excess moisture off so that you get a nice sear on it. So I'm just going to season it with salt and pepper because I really like my foods really simple. Everything is always flavorful if you can cook it right. So I have my pan on high heat. And I'm just waiting for it to get really hot. This is the most important part. I want to hear that sizzle when the salmon hits the pan. So high heat. I feel it getting nice and hot. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to coat the pan. And you really just want to look for the oil to start running as if it looked like water. I'm going to go skin side down first. So wherever the skin was on my salmon, which was this side. Um, Alright, so I hear a nice sizzle and that's what I want. And I am just going to let that go. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to move it. I'm just going to leave it in the pan. So I have all three salmon in the pan. I'm not moving them. My chefs would probably kill me if they saw me because they would say that I have too much salmon in the pan. But, yeah. Ideally, you would want, you wouldn't want all three because it technically brings down the temperature. But it's actually still pretty hot. You can see it's smoking right now. So that's a good sign. Okay, now that it's starting to get blush on the sides, I am going to flip this one. See if I could do it with one hand. There we go. And look at that. We got a nice crispy bottom. That's like perfect. You can just see a little bit of the outside starting to turn a lighter shade of pink, and that's when it's like ready to flip. And once you flip it, don't cut. So I'm, I flipped it and it should be done in like less than a minute because it's already you can see the sides so it should be uh, starting to turn pink. So. Okay, so when you're checking for doneness, I just pulled this off the pan. Um, you just want to look for a slight bounce and there's still a little bit bounce. And if you look to the side, it looks like it's cooked, but actually it still has this bounce, soft bounce. As soon as it starts to feel like it's stiff, that's when you know it's overcooked. Okay, so for my lean and green, I have some salmon. I have some salmon cooked over there. I bought this artisan lettuce from Costco. Love this because it stays fresh for a long time and there's so many different varieties of greens. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking some out and like leafing them and then I'm just gonna rinse them for my salad. So pretty much here's my dinner. It's my lean and green with about five ounces of salmon and then Here's Alan's in there. He has max salad and a full six, seven ounce of salmon, plus this side salad. So 